Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is Codations. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to install Cookie Run Kingdom on the overall PC. This is going to be the updated tutorial since the last one, I apparently left out a couple of steps that I did not realize. So with that being said guys, as always, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So the very first step we need to do, and that's going to be going to any of my Cookie Run Kingdom videos. It does not matter which video you do it on, um, but we need to find the link in the description that is going to say want to play Cookie Run Kingdom on PC, and it's going to have a high blue hyperlink that is going to take us to the official LDPlayer.net website. Once we go ahead and head over there to that website, it's going to bring us to this screen here. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the yellow download Cookie Run Kingdom button, and then once it's going to be officially downloaded, you can see down here in the bottom left hand side we've got the exe file we're going to go ahead and click on the exe file and then it's going to then prompt you a pop-up on your screen that's going to ask if you would like ld player to be able to make changes to your overall device don't worry it's not going to cause any harm or anything bad to your overall machine but we do have to approve this in order to move forward with the installation already so once you've officially approved it we will land on this screen but before we do click the installation button here we're going to go ahead and check out one option that's going to be the setup path option when you go to the setup path option and this is going to be really, really nice and handy for people who like to specifically target a location for the installation. So in this case, if you know, I have multiple drives, so I'm going to be installing it on my E drive, um, not my C drive. So again, just keep that in mind if you are one of those people. And then obviously you can utilize the browse button to go wherever you need um, to place the individual installation of LD player. The next thing we're going to be doing is clicking on the yellow install button. Once you click on the yellow install button, you will then be prompt for two additional software installs. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and reject both of those um, because we don't want anything initially installing to the machine. Alrighty, so once it's officially downloaded and installed, it's going to want to try to open up Cookie Run Kingdom automatically. However, there's going to be some settings and some things we need to adjust prior um, to us actually playing any apps. We're going to go ahead and click on the X button out of both of these options to bring us back to the home screen. Um, and this is, should be what your screen looks like. Once you're here at the home screen, the first thing we need to adjust or at least turn on, and that's going to be your virtualization or your VT. In order to check if your VT is already on, is in the top right hand side, you're going to see this little three lines. That's going to be the menu option for the LD player. Once you click on that, we're going to go down to diagnostic information, click on this, and then right here you will see a section that says VT, and then it'll say enabled or disabled now if yours does say disabled here i highly advise that you go on to do the next set of steps to make sure that you can get it enabled to make sure that you have a smoother gaming experience with using the overall emulator Alrighty, so now those of you that do not know how to enable vt settings i'm going to head back over here to the ld players website we already had this pulled up from doing the download but we're going to go ahead and head over to the support tab you can see up here at the top center once you click on the support tab it's going to bring us to a slew of different tutorials troubleshooting shooting things, advanced guides, just literally a ton of really awesome, awesome stuff. Um, also, a side tip here, if you're having any issues with the LD player in the past or something, um, and you still haven't figured it out, then I would highly advise you visit this page as well, just so you can find exactly what you're looking for to hopefully um, help and aid fixing that problem. But the first video that you guys are going to be needing to take a look at, that's going to be the how to enable VT or virtualization technology on the PC or the laptop. We're going to go ahead and click this one. I believe this one is like two, yeah, so two minutes and 30 seconds is all the video is very very short and sweet um but it is going to walk you step by step on how exactly to enable virtualization keep in mind though that enabling virtualization does require you to enter the computer's bios which is going to be different for different brands and different models of computers that's going to be why it might be in your best interest to do a quick google search um, to find out exactly what key you need to be pressing right here on this step um to then enter your computer bios however once you do get in the bios it's pretty self-explanatory from there on exactly how to find and enable VT. Alrighty, so now once you've officially got VT enabled on your computer, then the next thing that I would advise you to at least check out or look at is going to be the second video right next to it, and that's going to be the how to switch from integrated graphics to the dedicated graphics. Uh, me personally, I don't have an integrated graphics built into my machine because I've got a custom build. Um, however, a lot of people do only have integrated or they have all bought, you know, aftermarket graphics cards and that's all they run. So it's not going to 
apply to everybody, but it's definitely a video to get in here and check out. It's again only two minutes and 46 seconds, but it is going to walk you through step by step on how exactly to switch between the two different graphics cards because you absolutely want to be utilizing your dedicated graphics card before ever utilizing your integrated just because it's far superior um, than an integrated graphics unit. It's going to just allow for a much, much smoother gameplay when it comes to utilizing the emulator. Alrighty, so now once you've officially enabled both of those options, you are on a dedicated graphics card and you've enabled the VT for your BIOS, then we're going to go ahead and jump back in here to the overall emulator. And I want to just show you guys that Cookie Run Kingdom should absolutely start up and run smoothly, not doing any crazy force close problems or freezing or glitching or lagging um, or anything like that now there is one thing to keep in mind as always guys if you are running on an integrated graphics card your computer is going to be several years old and not going to be the top of the line it might run like crap and that's going to be just based on your overall computer's performance if your computer is not built to handle something like this then unfortunately you do not have the ability to play the game on your pc just like if you were to go to steam or go to somewhere else and play you know some other pc game um your computer is going to struggle so there there you go ladies and gentlemen that is going to be the official steps to download install and play cookie run kingdom on your overall pc once again do not forget to enable vt or set up your dedicated graphics card to make sure that your gameplay experience utilizing the emulator is absolutely butter smooth and you can prevent some of those crashes and glitches and things that i see a ton of players currently having right now when diving into cookie run kingdom on the pc for the very first time as always guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe also i want to invite everybody to join the discord link provided down below we have over what 4,000 people i think or pretty dang close to 4,000 members that all play cookie run kingdom so if you're just looking for an awesome community to hang out with we would love to have you and as always i will see you guys on the next one <laughs>